What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. As you can see by the title, today is a brand new Q&A with LSJ. We are here, ready to go to Ocean. Conor McGregor is here himself with his two trainers. Um, Ocean is just a dress up night, fancy dress night. So, who the fuck is that guy? 60 G, baby! Right, so we're gonna answer question one before we get too drunk. Question one is, Highlights of body power, and that would definitely have to be for me the YouTubers meet up on day one um, when we got to meet everybody. Uh, we got to meet Rob, we met Matt, we met TJ, all sorts of people, CRG, everyone was there. Um, and you can check it out on the day, day one vlog, which will be linked in the description box. Um, and also, Matt Just Fitness says that you know he's watched some of my videos and he's seen my 100 kg bench press, and that was amazing and you know I can't I can't pick because there was subscribers who came up to me and everything like it was just amazing but right we're going to carry on I'm going to take you through the day through the night and through tomorrow answering these questions for you guys and yeah it's going to be a good one let's get started the afternoon is pretty much three o'clock in the afternoon uh, the following day now and feeling surprisingly fresh but mind you like I said it is three o'clock in the afternoon so any kind of effects have kind of worn off using that tread principle that you guys know about drinking lots of water when we come back all that kind of stuff so I'm gonna crack on with the next question it's been asked multiple times by multiple people uh, and that is pretty much plans post university because as you guys know I'm now finished everything is done complete uh, just waiting for my marks to get back now um, so yeah that's it and the plans are as of right now to make as much content as possible utilize this spare time that I'm not going to have in the future um, like right now I, I, it's three o'clock in the afternoon on a Thursday and I am sat on my bed like I have a lot of free time right now that I can dedicate to YouTube dedicate to you know lots of different things including finding a job that is going to be the plan to find a job work in a gym for a little while do some personal training all of that kind of stuff earn some money uh, I don't know for a year 18 months however, however long it takes to earn enough money to then go traveling it's as simple as that and then we'll come back maybe do some further qualifications stuff like that um, yeah but that's the plan as of right now so uh, I'm gonna miss these Thursday afternoons <laughs> just sat in bed just cuz but um, the real world awaits Zero calorie Quick trip to Asda is done picked up a few little bits, a few essentials and something for lunch and it will give me the perfect opportunity to quick fire a couple more questions for you guys. So, if you could train with anyone, who would it be and why? Arnold, because he is king. What's your go-to carb for bulking? Well, I tend to have pasta. I, in fact, I have a pasta that's from Asda that I've seen, I've shown in a, a few videos ago. Uh, the, basically the macros on it are just really good um, and the taste for the macros are a lot better than other pastas that i found so I would have to say pasta but I love having like packet rice and tuna and beans that's kind of like my staple meal so um, 
yeah, it would probably be, you know, pretty standard rice or pasta. One last quick one. If you could only train one muscle group for a whole week, which would it be? Now, people who, oh, people who have been subscribed to the channel for a while uh, will know this answer straight off the bat. Uh, and there is no question for me that shoulders would be the one muscle group. If I had to train one thing forever, it would be shoulders. So, right, let's go home and get some food. Okay guys, so made it back home now, and again, I'm just gonna do a couple more quick fire questions. Uh, I've hardly even skimmed through these, to be honest, um, so I'm just gonna pick ones that I can answer quickly. Are you going to do a 1,000 carbs video to celebrate hitting 1,000 subscribers? Um, short answer, no. 10K challenge, I've actually already done one just over a year ago, it's probably about 13, 14 months ago, something like that, uh, but it's one of my slightly more popular videos, so if you go to like the more the, the the rated videos on my channel, you should find it on there. It's like 40 minutes long though, so grab the popcorn and watch that one. I actually do have another one planned, but I'm not sure when I'm gonna do it, or I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it, I'm not sure how much it's gonna cost, or you know, anything. It A, a lot more work goes into a 10K challenge and a YouTube, a YouTube video in general than, than you would expect. Speaking of which, what's your overall YouTube goals? Quick answer, domination. Okay, this is a good one. Top five essentials to do slash bring when at an expo okay so just because i haven't talked about body power for the last few days so you know i'll just answer this question and relate it to body power um what I, I don't really know how to split it up into five tips that would kind of take a lot of thought and i might actually do that in a separate video but something i'll say is just while you're there appreciate the time there because it goes like that and it's once a year and you know then you have to wait an entire year so just make the most of it um, don't stress while you're there, you know. Imagine if you are like a big fan of Rob Lipset, like me. He's gonna have a big queue. So don't go, oh, he's coming out at this time, so we're gonna have to be there at this time. Like, it takes as long as it takes. If that is what you want to do, if you are there to meet Rob Lipset, then it takes as long as it takes to meet Rob Lipset. Don't stress and think, let it ruin your day. Don't not see the expo or, you know, not do other things because of it. Just try not to stress too much and just enjoy the time you have. That would probably be the best tip I have. Next question, what does your training split look like? See, this will be quite good because there's quite a few new people on the channel and so they won't have any idea how I train, uh, what my training split is, or they might not care, but I'm gonna answer the question anyway. Um, I do currently a upper, lower, upper, lower, upper split. So each upper workout has an emphasis and the leg workouts are pretty much the same yeah, but upper chest emphasis, upper shoulder emphasis, upper back emphasis, and then alternate leg days. Um, I feel that that is best for me whilst I'm at university because training, I would love to train six days a week. My favorite tra my favorite training routine is push-pull legs, push-pull legs, uh, purely because you can get the most volume in and just I just enjoy that training session the most, um, but having tried it sort of last summer. But doing it at uni is just, <laughs> it's just not achievable for me because... As you've seen earlier in the video, you know, I enjoy going out, having a social life with my friends and balancing the gym with nights out and all the work that I had to do and everything like that. Training six days a week just wouldn't happen because I have a social life. I go out with my friends. I make the most of student life while I still can. So training five days a week allows me those, you know, once or twice a week that I can go out and, and just enjoy myself. Like I said about the Expos, appreciate the time. That and one more quick one before I need a shave because I need to get this fluff off of my face. Look at it, it's disgusting. Um, what is your overall goal for fitness or like with the gym and stuff? Um, and to be honest, I think everybody should have sort of like a, a, a big goal, but mine kind of can be achieved along the way and that if that makes sense because the reason I go is to feel good for one, you'll get all the positive endorphins and then you can, you know, look good as a result of it. You can feel more confident, you can look at yourself in the mirror and think, yeah, you know, you can be happy or happier at least with um with what you see. And so yeah, that's that's it in a nutshell anyway. Cheers everyone. Oh nothing can beat the taste of a white monster at seven o'clock in the evening on a Thursday. 
<laughs> um, right guys, so that is going to round off today's video. Uh, there's been no real sort of big question. Normally when I do a Q&A with LSJ, I like to have sort of a big topic, big kind of clickbaity topic. But um, this time there's been a, a load of new subscribers around Body Power and I just wanted you guys to have a chance to get to know me a little bit better. So um, I answered, well, actually not as many questions as I hope, but I've edited the video up and it's already 10 minutes long. So uh, no more questions are really needed. Uh, if you do have any more questions, then drop a comment or send me a DM, something like that, uh, and I'll be more than happy to answer your question because, um, you know, you're helping me out at the end of the day. So, thank you guys so much for watching today. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Uh, we'll be back to the regular vlog schedule now on Wednesday and Sunday. I've uploaded for seven days straight, with this being the final one, the seventh video in a row. So, it's been a, it's been a graph, but it's been worth it. We've, we've gone past 1K subs, and... Uh, I get a chance to meet a lot of you new, a lot of you new guys as well. So drop a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Together we will grow. I'll see you guys in the next video.